So this is the December Pixel update bulletin. We've just had an absolute feast of updates with that December patch. And honestly, I'm glad to be back though, diving into more traditional fixes with this particular O2A. And as usual, we've got fundamental fixes we need to dive into. So yeah, let's get right into it. Quickly though, I've got a favor to ask you before we jump into the nitty gritty of these fixes and those new features. If you're enjoying this video or you enjoyed this type of content, then please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out more than you know, and you'll be joining a growing community. Cheers for that. So let's start with the build numbers so you can know or at least check that your device is up to date and running that latest patch. The build for most devices is BP4A25120.005.006. However, if you're in the EMEA region, aka Europe and some slightly edgy cases of Europe, you're looking for the 0.81 build. And if you're using Verizon in the US with the Pixel 9a, the build will end with B1. So go check that out right now. I'll show that on screen. You should be able to check which your device is running and know you're up to date. But diving into the changes, as is always the case, we have a ton of general improvements and system stability changes that should, it should affect the performance quite nicely. It's hitting for every single supported device, which is at least as far as we're aware and what Google is telling us, Pixel 6 right through to the Pixel 10 series. Yeah, don't doubt that. I don't know why I said it that way, but yes, you'll find these improvements under both the framework and system sections. So under the framework section, every device is getting a fix for an issue where the system could run out of memory due to splash screens not closing properly. Basically those things that you see when you open up an application and a fix for stability when using the picture in picture mode when the display changes. Every device is also seeing a fix for stability issues caused by memory allocation failures in sensor related features. But that's my best guess what that is. I'm guessing it's stuff like GPS, all that kind of jazz. We're also seeing some important fixes for battery health and charging. I know a lot of you complained about this in our comments section, which is something Google tends to be tinkering with every single release. Every single device is getting a fix for an issue where the battery icon displays a blank or a question mark in the status bar at certain times, as well as a fix for where the battery's 80% charge limit setting may not fully work or may not actually apply after you've go gone and changed that setting, which I think is really good because I think a lot of people out there really like this feature. It helps, it should in theory at least help improve your battery life in the long term, although that's debatable. But yeah, it is something that is, should now be working with this OTA. And sticking with that battery theme, there is specific Wi Fi improvements which should help improve the battery longevity. So connection stability, connectivity, all that kind of jazz should be improved with the Pixel A8 Pro and 8A. Although Google hasn't listed a fix for the Pixel or all Pixels here. If anyone else has had a problem with Wi-Fi not connecting or disconnecting and forgetting a network or asking you to reconnect when using known networks, let me know what, um, if you still is encountering that issue because I've seen this on my Pixel 10. I'm hoping that this has fixed this update, but yeah, there's no note of that. It was supposed to be fixed last month, but my 10 Pro seems to be having more and more issues with this. I say more and more. It's pretty infrequently and I have to just reset the password or reconnect to the network with another phone. It's super annoying. Let me know in the comment sections below. It's an annoying little issue. Hopefully if it isn't resolved here, it will be resolved in a future release. So under the telephony banner, basically calling, texting, and all that kind of jazz, we have a major fix for the Pixel 6, 6 Pro and 6A, which resolves instability and intermittent problems with emergency calling functionality in certain scenarios. I know Google likes to say certain conditions, but yeah, you tell me what that means. This is something that was also addressed for every device with the November update, but it's good to see this being followed up on with more specific fixtures for this older generation because emergency calls, well, they're literally life and death situations. So it's good to see Google putting their money where their mouth is and fix this. Additionally, all supported devices are getting general improvements for network connection, stability and performance. So I hope that ideas or at least fixes the thing I mentioned just briefly a moment ago with the Pixel 10 series. But again, I don't know at this stage, I haven't had long enough to thoroughly, thoroughly test this. Moving on to the display and user interface though, there's a lot of fixes here. Every device in the lineup is covered. Specifically, there is a fix for an issue where the screen doesn't immediately respond when you actually attempt to unlock from the always on display if you have that active. There are also some general improvements for performance and stability in UI transitions and animations across the board, which is always nice as, yeah, Pixel has always been known for having great animations, smooth, consistent experiences as well. We do have a long list of user interface fixes for every single device as well, including issues where the keyboard would sometimes flicker. I never saw this myself or would fail to appear, which I do sometimes get when searching in the app drawer and where Google Home controls could launch with a blank screen as well, which again is annoying if you're someone like me who has a lot of Google Home connected devices. 
You'll also see fixes for screen freezing when using gesture navigation, an issue with message notification sounds not playing if you have your phone on loud, which you're a bit of a psycho if you ask me if you have that on, and a fix for swipe up gestures failing to trigger overview or exist or on exiting applications. The notification shade also has a little bit of love here as well with fixes for overlapping UI elements that you might have seen and an issue where it would incorrectly display the quick setting shelf after unlocking your screen. I had this a little bit recently and, and I'm kind of glad it has been or at least it's seen some improvements because yeah when I see bugs on my Pixel I get really annoyed as you probably do as well. For the Pixel 9 and 10 series devices though including the Fold and the 9a technically you'll see a fix for issues causing fingerprint unlock to fail when you're in certain scenarios and again certain scenarios it's a bit of a broad stroke from Google there. These same devices are also getting a fix for screen freezes and display corruption as well. The very latest Pixel 10 series though is receiving some display fixes of its own including a resolution for an issue that causes the screen to flash or remain black at times. I haven't seen this but I read about this online some people complaining on support forums as well as one of the causes of the screen to occasionally hang or freeze as well as a result of this. Plus there is a fix for screen brightness becoming dim and requiring the screen to be toggled on or off to restore the normal brightness. This to me when I've seen this has been when it gets really really dark and you go to a really bright area and then dim the, the the brightness level just stays really really low and you can't necessarily do anything until you just lock and unlock your device again it's an annoying problem but at least there was a temporary fix but yeah it's supposedly fixed here with this ota as well and finally for the pixel temper fold any of you out there who happen to own that megaphone there is a fix for the inner display flickering or going black when launching certain games no word on the titles themselves though hopefully if you are a gamer or a mobile gamer and you're using the foldable device with those problems, those should be fixed as well. So the camera section notes general improvements for camera stability affecting the Pixel 9 and 10 series, including the Fold series devices in both of those and the 9A as well. This is always welcome as I do, as we probably bang on about here on the channel quite a lot. The camera is a core strength of the Pixel brand and it's good to see that there's more attention being paid as well. And for audio, the same group of devices, the Pixel 9 and 10 series and the Fold and 9A again, are getting a fix for issues occasionally causing audio crashes. Not seen this myself, not read about it online, but yeah, it seems to be something that has been fixed according to the OTA notes. Every single supported device though is receiving a fix for issues occasionally preventing connections with certain Bluetooth devices or accessories. This is super frustrating if you have lots of accessories, you wanna connect them, trying to pair. If you've had trouble switching or connecting to a smartwatch, which I've had just on every single device I've ever used, this should make those links far more reliable. So yes, Bluetooth is getting some attention as well. But that is it, that is everything. That's your lot for the December 2025 patch. There is obviously a lot of extra features added as well, so go check out our top features video and Jordan's dive into some other new things as part of the Android feature drop, which is technically tied to this. Yeah, there is a lot going on for December. It's a great end of year release for Pixel owners. And as you can see, on top of that, this set of fixes and stability and quality of life improvements across the entire supported lineup is always really, really welcome. I love the fact that Google goes out and lists these fixes and tells us what is fixed because it, it can be a little bit murky at times as to what these resolve with these OTAs that a lot of other brands put out there. But let me know what you think of this month's bulletin down in the comment sections below. I wanna say thank you for joining me. And if you'd like to like me to look up any of the stuff for you, drop that down in the comment sections below and I'll try and see if I those fixed as well. But oh, I also wanna ask you as well, what do you think of this uh, December update? Have you had any of the other stuff from the November update rollout, like AI notification summaries, all that kind of jazz? Let me know down in the comment sections below. We haven't really had a chat about that, have we? But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you later.